Here are three things that your Mac can do that you probably had no idea about. <laughs> Let me show you what they are. All right, welcome back to my channel. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a little training video. It's not actually training, it's a fun one. It's gonna be three different things, I call them kind of hacks that you can do with your Mac. Three different things you can do with your Mac that you probably had no idea that you could do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna share my screen in a second. Go through one, two, three, and stay tuned for all three of them. I guarantee that, I guarantee that most people might know one of the three, but I'm guessing nobody's gonna know all three of these. So they're gonna be kind of cool, something that's a little bit different. Whether you can use them or not, some people probably will love them, some people may not, but stay tuned and watch the video because these are things that are a little bit off the beaten trail. You see a lot of videos on Mac and tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff. And this is gonna be a little bit different because these are kind of things that a lot of people just don't know about. Again, is it useful? You can decide. Three of them coming up, let's get into the video. All right, tip number one. Let's say you just created a video or something on your cell phone and you wanna go ahead and share it, but you don't want the whole video. You want just a little piece of it. What you can do is, I'm gonna go ahead over here. So you, what you wanna do is you wanna mouse over the video and then you know how there's a preview. I mean, we all know this, but if you click the space bar, you're gonna go into a preview mode. So let me go ahead and show you. I'm gonna click the space bar over that movie. Actually, let me select it. And it's gonna open it up in preview. I'm gonna go ahead and just stop this so it doesn't get too loud. But what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the part that you want, not that part, that looks pretty bad. But let's just say right here. So then what you wanna do is up in the upper right hand corner up here, there's like a little icon up here. You can see it up here. And uh, if you look really closely, there's a little icon with two arrows that are kind of pointing in basically towards each other. If you go ahead and select that, I'm gonna select that. It creates a bar down here. See that bar down at the bottom? And all you have to do is you can go ahead and you can drag each end of that down. So you can drag it this way and you can drag it from the right all the way over here. And uh, at the end of the day, you let go. Now it's got this little piece left, see it there? And that's the piece of the video that you'll actually have left. So if you wanna just send that piece of the video to somebody, all you have to do is you can go back up to the right-hand corner. If you wanna revert back to the original, click revert. But if you wanna just save that little part there, go ahead and click done. And uh, it's gonna say here, replace, which you don't wanna do because if you replace it, it's gonna overwrite your original video. You wanna to go to a new clip here. So go to new clip, and then you can go ahead and just like go slash you know, B or whatever you wanna do and save it. And what it's gonna do then is it's gonna save just that little snippet there. And this is the original again. So just a little tip on how you can edit down a video really quickly without using like editing software, just to preview. It's built into there. You just slice the piece you want, save it as something different, and you're ready to go. All right, so for tip number two, go ahead and just grab a photo. I have one down here as an example. What you wanna do is you wanna drag this into your Photos application, so your Photos application in, inside of your Mac OS, and go ahead and open up that image. So here's the image here in Photos. You can see Photos up here in the upper left-hand corner. In this box up here in the upper right-hand corner, there's an Edit button, see it right there? So you wanna go ahead and click on Edit. Now once you're in the screen, on the right-hand side over here, what you wanna do is look for something called Retouch. You can see it here, Retouch. And you can go ahead and drag this to create a different size brush. You can see how that little circle gets bigger as I drag this back and forth. But pick a brush size about that big. And let's say you wanna get some, you basically wanna remove one of these two things or remove something from an image. It can be anything, it can be a person. Let's just say I wanna remove one of these coffee mugs. You take this little brush that I just created, go ahead and you kind of keep the button held down and you go ahead and outline this around and color it all in like this. Watch this, so I'm gonna color the whole thing in. And then once I let go, watch what happens. I'm gonna let go. It removed it from the image, see that? So it's a good way to basically remove things from images if you want to. It does its best to try to match the background with the existing background. Sometimes it doesn't work perfectly, but it's kind of cool if you're kind of trying to make a background or something and you have some extra pieces in there you wanna get rid of. All right, so for tip number three, let's go ahead and just show you a quick one here. So let's say you're running out of disk space on your iMac or your MacBook and you wanna go ahead and reclaim some of that disk space. You can clear off some of your cache files. And, and you know, those, I'll show you why you'd wanna do that and why you wouldn't. But first of all, let's say you wanna make sure you're on your desktop, see where it says Finder up here. So Finder, just make sure you're out here. What you wanna do is you wanna hit Shift-Command-G, Shift-Command-G, just like that. And what's gonna come up is this go to folder, and I already have this typed in. But what you wanna type in is tilde forward slash library forward slash caches. See it there, tilde forward slash library forward slash caches. And, uh, and then go ahead and click go. What it's gonna do is it's gonna bring you right to your caches folder. You can see it up here. So inside of here, you can go ahead and delete some of these if you don't need them any longer. Now, 
I would, if you need space, I would delete only the ones basically that are big, that are you know worth deleting. Some of them are going to be very small. Um, you can see some of the sizes over here. Very, you know, you'll have to actually go in and you know you can go ahead and right click on one, and you can go ahead and click on get info on one of them, and then go over here and look at the actual size, 86 kilobytes. So sometimes it's listed over here, sometimes it's not. But you delete the ones that are big enough to make a difference. The reason you leave the other ones in there is because it does make your system faster because it caches things that makes things load faster in applications and stuff so while you can delete these safely you really want to leave the ones alone that you don't need to delete and just delete the ones to reclaim space all right so what do you think let me know in the comments are these things that you might use what out of the three was the best one which is the one you're most likely to use out of those three what I like to do is I like to make videos like this that are kind of, you know, things that you may not always use but are kind of cool. You can kind of show people and maybe impress them. <laughs> yeah, sure. But I'm just kidding with you. But there might be something that you actually do want to use. So well, I like to go through maybe two or three, four of them at a time just so you can kind of take it all in, learn them, and not, you know, get overwhelmed by 10 or 20 like some videos do. So let me know in the comments. Are these things that actually work for you pretty good? Are they stuff you're going to be using? Is this worth your time or not? Post comments. I need more comments, more things going on so people can get me feedback so I can make better videos. So at the end of the day, you guys know my sign off. Thanks again for watching. If you can subscribe and help the channel out, it's going to make me, you know, obviously grow a lot faster. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.